Hello students, welcome to J Science Sub. Today we are going to study about respiratory system. The primary function of the respiratory system is the exchange of gas. Respiration in human is a complex process, so it takes place in three different stages. The gas exchange between external environment and lungs, gas exchange in alveoli, and cellular respiration. So first we discussed about the gas exchange between external environment and lungs. Intake of oxygen into lungs and removal of gaseous waste in cells occur during external gas exchange. Look at this picture. It shows the human respiratory system and its parts. So the entry point here is the nasal cavity. Through the nasal cavity, the air is entered into the pharynx, which is a common part for digestive as well as respiratory system. Then it enters into a la larynx, then into a trachea. There are two lungs present in human, right? So trachea further divided into branches. These branches are branched into bronchioles inside the lungs. Lungs is protected into a thoracic cavity by rib cage. This rib cage is made up of ribs. So let's discuss about these parts more deeply. Okay, so the internal surface of the nasal cavity is covered with mucus. Also, there are numerous cilia present on the lining of the nasal cavity. This sticky mucus and the cilia prevent the entry of bacteria, dust and other waste found in the inhaled air. By rhythmic movement of cilia, the waste materials are sent out. These materials are collected at pharynx and removed out with saliva. There are multiple changes occur when the inhaled air passes through the nasal cavity. Some changes are moisturizing of inhaled air, warming up of inhaled air up to a body temperature, removal of foreign materials from inhaled air. Lungs is an internal organ, right? Most of the internal organs which are vital are protected by a bony structures, right? For example, our brain is protected by skull, our spinal cord is protected by the vertebral column. Like that, lungs which is present in the thoracic cavity is protected by ribs. Intercostal muscles are present within the ribs. The lower limit of the thoracic cavity is a diaphragm which separates the abdomen and thoracic cavity. The gas exchange between external environment and lungs can be take place by the two different process. One is inspiration, the entry of external gas into a lungs and expiration where gases inside lungs moves out. Inspiration and expiration is take place due to the muscular movement. Before studying these inspiration and expiration, you should know the relationship between pressure and volume. Pressure is inversely proportional to the volume. It means if you decrease the volume, it increases the pressure. Vice versa, if you increase the volume, the pressure will be decreased. The process of inspiration and expiration is take place due to the gradient which form between internal lungs and external environment okay so there should be a pressure difference between internal lungs as well as external environment so during the process of inspiration the air should enter into the lungs right so the volume of the lungs should be increased then only the pressure inside the lungs will be lesser than the external environment okay but lungs is protected inside the thoracic cavity so if the volume of the lungs should be increased the volume of the thoracic cavity should be increased right so in order to increase the volume of the thoracic cavity intercostal muscles contract so the rib cage move up and the sternum moves forward at the same time the diaphragm contracts and reduces its curvature look at this picture it clearly shows the diaphragm becomes flat it means the curvature of the diaphragm is degrees. So due to these two activities, the volume of the thoracic cavity increase. And with that, the volume of the lungs to increase. So with the increasement of volume, pressure inside the lungs degrees below the environmental pressure. So in order to balance the pressure at two places, the air from external environment is entered into the lungs through the nasal cavity until the both pressures are equal. This process is known as inspiration. During inspiration, we inhale mostly oxygen. 
okay these contraction of intercostal muscles and diaphragm are temporary they should return to their initial position when they return to the initial position the volume of the thoracic cavity is now reduced okay when the volume of the thoracic cavity reduce the volume of the lungs also reduce with the decrease in the volume the pressure inside the lungs increase beyond the external environment so the air presence inside the lungs move out from the lungs through trachea and then through nasal cavity and enter into the external environment until the pressure inside the lungs and the external environment is similar the exhaled air mainly contain carbon dioxide and water vapor so now you understand the mechanism of inspiration and expiration okay so i hope now you all understand the gas exchange between external environment and lungs so this is the first stage during the respiration process of human okay in the next video we will discuss about the other two stages the gas exchange in alveoli and cellular respiration thanks for watching like share and subscribe j science sub for more videos related to science